In today's video, I want to show you how to access the hidden features of your GE Ultrafast 2-in-1 combo washer dryer to find error codes if your machine is not working, and also how to use the hidden service mode to test parts on the machine. Consumer help indicators may show on the unit when something has happened that could temporarily prevent the unit from operating properly, and these codes will show up when you use the unit. They could have yellow, red, or even no colored text behind them indicating the problem. Here's a list of codes that could pop up on the screen when you use your washing machine. And here's also a few ways that you could resolve the issues. Note that generally these have to be solved before the machine can operate again properly. Now once you've resolved the issue, you should be able to start a new cycle on the machine. Now with that section over, I want to show you how to find the fault codes that are on your machine and these go way beyond these consumer help indicators. First, make sure your machine is plugged in. Then from the interface with the machine plugged in, make sure that the screen is shut off. Next with the screen off, press and hold the start button and hold it for approximately 10 seconds. If you've done this right, at about 10 seconds, you should see the fault code list pop up. It will give you a list of faults if you have multiple that have popped up in your unit when it's been in operation. To scroll through the codes, simply press down or up on the arrows on the interface. Due to the newness of this machine, I'm not sure if it can store more than five at one time, or if I just happen to have five old codes on this machine. This list will give you an idea of something that could be preventing your machine from running properly or not as well as it should. Now in this mode, to exit, simply press the start or pause button, or you could press the power button to turn the entire machine off. Either way, it will continue to store the fault codes even after you've exited this mode. Now let's go over the list of all the possible fault codes, as well as a longer explanation from GE as to what these fault codes could actually mean. Note that the code does not guarantee that a problem or a part is specifically bad, it just gives you an idea on where something could be wrong on your unit, and possibly an idea on how to solve it. Now with all the fault codes going over, let's get to the last and maybe the most important part of the video, the service test mode screen. First we want to power down the unit like we did on the fault code mode, and then we need to press the following three keys and hold them in simultaneously. The pause slash start button, the smart dispense button, and the timed dry button. Once you hold all three in for about five seconds, you should enter the service test mode. As soon as it boots up, the UI light will light up in a circle, and then all the modes that you can now select will display. The UI will show five possible service mode tests. To go through the various tests, use the up and down arrows to select any mode you want to try. In order to activate the modes, you want to make sure to highlight it on blue in the UI, and then press the select button. Note that many of these tests won't automatically activate. There are many sub-tests that you can do, and we'll get to some of those later. And of all those subtests, there's way too many to go on camera. We're just doing the primary 20. Now, if at any point you want to exit the service modes, just press the power button to end the tests and turn the machine off. Let's go through the tests that the unit has, what they do, and what happens when you try to run the test.
Once you get through the very last test, pressing the down button again one more time will scroll the entire system back to the very first test. So let's go ahead and try out a mode or two real quick. Let's go ahead and select test number seven, then press select to enter the mode. These are all the water tests that we can try. And as you can see, this gives us multiple options that we can choose from in which we could diagnose a possible problem with the system. Once you press start, the test will begin to run and the screen will show you information. When you're done with the test, I will just press the select button again to end the test and then just follow the instructions on screen because multiple things will happen when you start, run, and end the tests. With that test over with, we're going to go back to the main menu and then go to the test to clear the fault codes. I'm going to test number 13, and then I'm going to follow the on-screen instructions to clear all the fault codes that we had earlier in the video. I press and hold, and let's see if it works. Now let's scroll back through and go to test two and see if the fault codes are there any longer and it's clear that it has cleared all the codes. And now we are essentially done with all the codes going through. I hope that this video gives you some ideas on how to troubleshoot your washing machine from GE. I will have more videos on this in the future. This is just to help you get an idea on what could be wrong so that we can go into deeper teardowns and troubleshooting on later videos. This is just to help you get some ideas on what could be wrong. Remember that your machine has a one, five, and 10 year warranty on it. So use these modes as a guide on what you may or may not want to work on as a DIYer or find the correct technicians that do warranty repairs or can service these kinds of machines. And I hope you have a great day.